In this video, we will continue with radian, arc length and area of a sector. You will find this on page 148 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to 6S. Now, we often use the following formula for ROM ordinary level trigonometry when solving problems involving sectors of circles. Okay, and this is the sine rule. Can you remember? You either put the sides on top or the angles on top. The cosine rule, uh, which you either work out this one, a side, or you can even work out an angle. Now, can I just refresh your memory? Um, let's just make it a pin. When do we use the sine one? Can you recall? We use that when we, they give you one full pair, as I said. So they give you, say, that one and that one and another. So they give you A and small a, and then either uh, B or they can ask them this one. So, but at least they give you one set. So they either give you A or B or C. Okay. Then the cosine rule. When do we follow that one? Can I just go back to this one? Uh, if if they um, they can either ask a side or they can ask an angle, it doesn't matter which one. It depends on which one they give you. Okay, now let's look at the next one. When do we follow the cosine rule? We follow the cosine rule when they give you two sides and an included angle. Let's just get that pin. So say this is A, they give you A, and then they give, oh, this is now B, this is C, then this will be more small. So they give you small C, small B, and A, but they give you two sides with an included angle, and they, for example, ask you this side. Or, or, and this is when, if I want to work out this angle, if they give you three sides, then they can ask you any angle, but then they will give you the three sides, then you will follow this one. Okay, and then don't forget, the area of a triangle that's not having 90 degrees, how do you do? The information is like the cosine, but in the formula, you use sine. So it's half B, C, sin of A. So the information is like cosine, but in the formula, you use sin. Okay, and, and this is just a quick revision of ordinary level trigonometry. Now let's move on. Let's look at this example. The diagram shows the sector of a circle, center O, radius 6, angle X, O, Y is 2 over 3 pi radians. Calculate in terms of pi the arc length. Okay, so let's, in terms of pi, very important. So if I'm just going to say, and I think I will change it in a reprint, I'll show you now. So if I want to find the arc length, it's just that R times the theta, the angle. So, and then I keep it in terms of pi. Okay, but then the perimeter. Now don't forget that perimeter is just adding this two. So it's adding the six, but it's almost like it's unlike terms. So you cannot just go and say 12 plus, uh, okay, this is going to be 16 pi. No, no, no. This is unlike. This is this two is like, they are constants, so they become 12, and I just leave it. I, I think in a reprint, I will leave this out. The reason why is because they specify that you must do it in terms of pi. So I will just scratch that in a reprint. Okay, then the area of the sector, so it's again the formula. I again, I put in, I just keep, and again in a reprint, I will scratch that because they say in terms of pi. Okay. And then, find the area of the shaded segment. Now, how do I do it? This is actually very easy. I have the area of the sector, and the area of the sector was that. Then, all that I do, I work out the area of the triangle. And I have, I have two sides and included angles, so I can use this formula. So, I work it out, and now they don't say in terms of pi, so it doesn't matter. I can just do it like this. Okay, and then I subtract, I take the sector minus the triangle will then give me the shaded area. And that's basically what I did there. Okay, and then find the exact length of the court. Now, what court are they talking about? They're talking about this. 
Okay. And again, it's trigonometry. So I have two sides and included. Now I use the uh, cosine formula. And that's what I use there. And I just press this on my calculator. And I get this uh, square root um, uh, 108. And I get either this or this. Uh, if there's a sin, a cos, or a tan in front of the radian angle, okay, do you see? You must change your calculator to radiant mode. So very, very, very important. Okay. Okay. Uh, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now 8. Just take note. A. Okay. And as soon as you do, you can rewind the video. You must also do B and C. So the whole number 1. That's what I want you to do. Okay. Okay. Let's start. I'm just going to move it a little bit down. Okay. Okay. I have to move a little bit up. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah, at least up to there. Okay. This is number one. The diagram shows the sector of a circle, center O. Radius 4. Okay, I see that angle, and this is the angle. It's 5 pi over 6 radians. Calculate in terms of pi the arc length. Now, what is the arc length? The arc length, um, maybe, okay, it's, I'm going to do it in green. That is the arc length. Okay, so I start exactly, so I say the length. Let's make it A, length of arc. Uh, X, Y, or theta. Okay, and that, what is the uh, radius? It's 4. What is the theta? It's 5 pi over 6. And that is going to be, okay, it's going to be 20 over 6, and if I simplify it, uh, I'm going to write it out, but I will simplify it. And that will give me 10 over 3 pi. That's in terms. Leave it in terms of pi. Don't write the others. As I said, I will scratch that. Then the perimeter. So what is the perimeter? Now I'm just going to add that. So I'm going to say this was number i. This is number i, i. Perimeter of the sector. And that is going to be this, 10 over 3 pi, plus 4, plus 4, or 2 times 4, doesn't matter. And don't forget that this is going to be, this is unlike, this is like, so it will be 10 pi over 3 plus 8. Okay, that will be my answer. Um, I can, let me just see. I think it's better if you do, and then you just put it in terms of centimeters. Okay. Then uh, the area of the sector. So now I'm going for the area. So this is number three. Area of sector. It's half R squared theta, and that is a half. And then it's 4 squared. And now, don't forget, theta is 5 pi over 6. Okay, so this is going to be 16, and the half of 16 is 8. So it's going to be 8 over 6. Do you see that? Okay, let's just going to see. Oh, this, but the, I forgot. Okay, let's make it, okay, sorry. I forgot about the 5. So, this is going to be 16, and half is it's 8, and 8 times 5 is going to be 40 over 6 pi. But that can simplify further to 20 over, always put it in the simplest form, okay, pi. And that will be centimeter squared. Okay, and that was number A. So maybe we will go back, so it's nice, go to the next page. So this space again, <laughs> and mm, this is going to be in the next video, so we're just going to move it down.
Here we go. Okay, so let's go, go to number B. Find the area of the shaded segment. Now, don't forget, I must first find the area, I will go now back to the picture, of triangle X, O, Y. And let me just go back. So, ooh, let's just move this back. I must first find that area. Okay. Then I can take the area of the sector, the green, and I can subtract the blue to find at the end the area of the shader. And that's what I'm going to do. So I first find that. And that is the formula for the, for the triangle. So what is the radius? Four. Four. And don't forget sin, although the information is like cosine. And then five, five over six. Okay, so don't forget to put your calculator on radiant mode. Okay, and then you can just press. I prefer pressing this first. So press sin bracket, 5 times pi, divide 6, close the bracket, equals, and you get 0 0.5. And then times 4, times 4, times a half, but at the end you will get 4 centimeter square. Okay, and now the area... Of the shaded segment. And that will be the area of sector X O Y minus the area of a triangle. Uh, where is it now? Uh, X, O, Y. Now, what is the area of the sector? Just go back up what you already worked it out. It was that, did you see there? This, this. So 20 over 3 pi. So 20 over 3 pi minus 4. And you can just press it on your calculator. Just take your calculator, say, 20, divide 3 equals, multiply, shift, press the real pi in your calculator, minus 4 equals, and three significant figures, it's 16.9 centimeter squared. Okay, and then number C. Find the exact length of the chord XY. This is ex actually typical, like the example that we did. Okay, so um, I'm just going to say um, it's just the cosine formula. So x, y, I'll show you now on the sketch. Let me first show you. So it's that that they want. So you have two sides with an included angle. Remember, that's four and that's four and there's the angle. So let's just go back. So if I want, I can say it's O, x squared plus O y squared minus two O x O y. Let's just go back. O y cos angle x O y, and that is going to be four squared plus four squared minus two. 4, 4, cos 5 pi over 6. And again, I'm just going to move it up. Then I'm going to move this down. This is for the next video. I'm really prepared. Okay, so basically, and I'm just going to tell you how to press it. I will press it. I like to put a bracket there. Oh. I like to put a bracket, oh, the two disappeared. I like to put a bracket there. So, okay, so you start and you press this on your calculator. You say 4 squared plus 4 squared, it's a square, minus bracket. 2 multiply 4, multiply 4, multiply cos bracket 
5 multiply and the real pi, shift pi, divide 6, close the bracket, that bracket, and close the big bracket. I get 59.7128. Okay, so I can write it now, but, but this is not the final. Remember, this is square. So 59.7128. And then as soon as I take, say, x, y, and I take the square root. So take the square root, and I get 7.73 centimeter. Now, I see in the teacher's guide, I'm having the answer, and we can just test to see if it's correct. I have 2 uh, square root 6 plus 2 square root 2. Now, they didn't say it in terms of this, so let's just see if it's correct. Uh, so, press this on the calculator. 2 multiply square root 6 plus 2 multiply square root 2 equals, and I'm also getting 7.73, exactly the same. So it doesn't matter. If you worked just if you're keeping the roots, then otherwise this will both will be correct.